This is the story of a young man with an unusual business plan. A plan that might change the face of jihadist warfare. He calls himself Abu Rafiq. He's a 24-year-old fighter based near Idlib in northern Syria. He's a rebel with a cause, a man of mystery who speaks fluent Russian with an Uzbek accent. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Это канал Малхама Тактикал и с вами снова Абу Рафиг. И сегодня решил прогуляться. Погода очень-очень жаркая, алхамдулиллах, просто печет. И отсюда начинается южная часть фронт Алеппо. Южная часть Алеппо, алхамдулиллах. И поехали дальше тогда. These road signs aren't telling Abu Rafiq to slow down. Jihad is the gate to paradise, says this one. The next, don't forget your prayers. To men like him, Syria is a vast and violent playground, a place to live out macho fantasies involving Kalashnikovs. Abu Rafiq shoots rocks for target practice. But he's also the founder of Malhama Tactical, named after an epic battle Muslims believe will happen in Syria before Judgment Day. It's an unusual startup, the world's first private military contractor for the jihadist sector. Guns for hire in Syria, and who knows where next. And Abu Rafiq has trained some blue chip clients. Like this group of gunmen affiliated with Al Qaeda. Я приехал в Сирию из России. Я жил в Москве, учился и служил в спецназе вооруженных сил Российской Федерации. И я приехал сюда тогда, когда услышал, что этот маньяк, садист Асад, тиран, истребляет этот народ, что убивает мусульман сунит. Я хотел приехать сюда и чем там помочь. Граната, граната! Here, Abu Rafiq's team of about a dozen trainers are teaching battlefield first aid. Life-saving skills most ragtag rebel gunmen in Syria lack. Uh. The group's marketing on social media is relentless. Professional group courses for rocket-propelled grenades, says this post. Please sign up by February the 1st. The nightmare for Western intelligence agencies is that Malhama Tactical's online teach-yourself manuals could spread across the internet. Every time the group gets banned online, it reappears somewhere else. With hundreds of thousands of views across the Middle East and former Soviet republics, Abu Rafiq has even conducted Q&A sessions with his fan base. Первый вопрос, какое оружие ты предпочитаешь для операций и для рейдов? Советские и российские автоматы Калашникова и еще немецкие, они очень хорошо показали себя в бою, никогда не подводят практически Но если китайские, катарские, там другие версии, не другие страны, где производят, то показали себя очень плохо и даже бесплатно не стали бы с ним пользоваться. И следующий вопрос, чего ты боишься? У меня более юмористичный ответ будет. Это когда ты в уборной сидишь, делаешь свое дело и пролетает, прилетает авиабомба или там минометный обстрел, когда ты близко к фронту. Это очень пугает человека, и умереть там, это было бы очень нелепо. О остальных вещах, хвала Аллаху, не боимся. Abu Rafiq says he won't train suicide bombers or work with ISIS. He's preferred to see his men as instructors rather than mercenaries. Though last autumn, Malhama was hired to spearhead this jihadist offensive to break the siege of Aleppo. And that is where things started to go wrong. One of his men was killed in the assault, commemorated in this tribute video. When Russia's bombing of northern Syria intensified, Abu Rafiq was in the thick of it, ironically cursing in Russian himself. Allah! 
Aleppo fell to the government in December. Civilians were ordered to leave and the rebels turned on each other. They were too busy fighting among themselves and retreating to pay for Malhammer's courses. So the training contracts dried up. Abu Rafiq, who claimed his business was not for profit, feared it was about to go under. So he launched this emergency financial appeal. In February, Abu Rafiq registered a birth. He'd become a father to his first son, Khalid. But four days later, Malhama Tactical registered a death, that of Abu Rafiq himself. Our beloved brother has been martyred in an airstrike along with his wife and baby. But the world's first jihadist military contractor has not died with him. In fact, Malhammer Tactical has produced this video as evidence that it has won its biggest ever contract, training the elite forces of the Levant Liberation Organization, a former Al-Qaeda affiliate. And what began as a Syrian political uprising six years ago has become an international, professionalized war. With Abu Rafiq playing his part in turning Syria's appalling conflict into a magnet for those who don't just dream of fighting jihad, but want to know how.